Uh, time is 1951. Last night it was uh, 2103 for the other one to strike. Uh, the bracket I did use is actually from an old uh, plasma TV. So it's not perfect. Uh, I need to get a ground piece at the end, but uh, for now it will do. It's pretty rough, but it uh, doesn't matter. It will do the job. I just missed it already struck. Still looks good as the green light in the background, the green tree. And uh, yeah, it's stuck a bit earlier than I thought because the photo cell hangs reasonably dark at the moment, but it's alright. Test one, it's good, I'm happy. Push, push. Get having a good life. And the time is now 20 37. Uh, just flicked over 38. Um, it was probably about 20 36 when the lamp struck, I would say. This looks really cool. Just waiting for lamp number two at the front to strike. Can't be far away. Oh, road street lights are already on. Keep an eye on it. Oh, this is cool. Monochromatic and yellow. There we go. Get a bit closer. Uh, try to hold it stable. Beautiful striking color. This lamp is being underrun a bit, but that's alright. That looks very cool. Beautiful colors. Sports mode. So the Goff, the converted Goff, low pressure light I put back up here where it's supposed to go. Last uh, night I had the other uh, lamp on here that was the GEC, so the Goff is back here. In it, uh, roughly 10 hour when it used 0 0.5 kilowatt hours. And I got the uh, GEC back where it belongs. Tidied it up, uh, got a different igniter now, an N70 igniter, which I'll show you later in the video. Connected up to something I pre wired many years ago. There we go, 1500 hours, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Beautiful blue sky. So, this is a successful conversion, and I've got a uh, ballast from the original ballast in there, 70 watt of VA with a fluorous resonant ballast in series. I'm going to do some usage tests on the uh, low pressure sodium lights. I only got 35 watt bulbs. I'm uh, just testing this hour meter. I got it connected up to uh, 240 volts, exactly to 20 meter, but I'll just give it a dial in, see how accurate it is, and that will be implemented in the following experiments. So, 
1.0204.1 The makeshift setup, uh, I modified it a little bit, I put in uh, the photo cell there and there's a horror meter here and tonight when I come back from the night shift I'll take a reading and then we'll see how many hours the lamp is going to run tonight plus the usage This will be the start reading for tonight, 482.8 kilowatt hours so the reading on the whole counter, 1.0205.0 hours. There we got a photo cell. I'm absolutely in love with these colors, it's so cool. Sodium 1 and Sodium 2 Teardrops Ok that's the reading on the meter 102 14-5 and that's the power meter 483 3 3.5 kilowatt hour. Okay, reading today is 10224.03. And the final reading here is 483. Point, uh, 8, 8.5, 8.7, something like that. Okay, I got the lamp finally sorted. Uh, the whole uh, cont is on the top and run the wire to the control module here. It's been implemented in this box here and this control tidy the wiring up there a bit and that is controlled by this photo cell outside here. An eye, a magic eye analog photo cell. That was the final reading from the survey. Um, it's now on an unmetered supply, but I got a horror water on there, which we keep an eye on the running hours. So it appears on nine and a half hour running for this particular lamp. Uh, we're using about uh, 0 0.5 kilowatt hours for the 35 watt SOX. So I made this horror hour meter splash proof. Um, the bulb in this fitting is a brand new one. Uh, probably done 50 hours unmetered and probably about 30 hours so probably all up it has done about 80 hours running hours and then we're adding that on to these hours here on this particular meter the time is 20.30 control device in front 35 watt socks at the back just missed it, I just clicked on Also in just this little LED cluster here. Time is now 20.33. Very nice sunset and that red glow. Absolutely fantastic. Aerial view from the top. And the whole contest active now. Okay, it's now 20.45. Looking very good, beautiful. View from the front door through the bush. That photo cell is the orange light controls the lights on the other side of the house, which are currently LED in a filament bulb. This lamp is running at reduced voltage, about 170 volts for a 220 bulb, and it's 240 volt 
designed LEDs as part of light running at 170 volts as well. And that's another part of light on the front porch, as well as a green ship light. Ah, hit a click. No, not yet. The time is 2054. Absolutely beautiful. This lamp uses 0.6 kilowatt hours or tens of 60 watts per hour. The other one uses about 50 watts per hour. 35 watt bulb is the bellows, of course. Party in the background. I do walk by it. A bit later on when everything is dark. And that's a 20 lux photo cell. So that's a uh, time delay. That's 2100 on the clock. Camera still struggle with the color. The color is a lot yellower 